watching Culture TV for Fashion Culture. We're in Melbourne today for the Melbourne Spring Fashion Week 2010. Kevin Murphy is the official hair partner, so we're going to check out some workshops and also go backstage for tonight's show and uh, see what all the trends are for Spring 2010. Okay, we've got a model from Joey's Daytime Runway Show. Um, Joey, I know you just described the hairstyle to me. Do you want to do it again with the model's hair? Yes, yeah, so basically, as you can see, sort of still quite raw. You know, we've just gone through lightly with the tongue. We've sort of tongued that, and then we've gone through, brushed it out, straightened some of the ends, so it's real loose and sort of organic feeling. It's not too oversized and not too done. Okay, I'm here with James Finesse. Now, we're backstage at the workshops. James, what have you been doing this week? Uh, well, this week in the workshops, there's been a different program every day. First day, we did Surfer Girl. Uh, then we did Hair Siren. Today, we're doing like three sexy updos, and tomorrow, we're doing uh, Races Without a Hat. So, yeah, it's quite exciting. Yeah. What we're really trying to do is bring hair to the people. So, we're trying to educate people that hair's not difficult. It's really simple. We're backstage for tonight's show, Designer Series 3. We have about 11 designers on tonight. Now, um, Kevin, you've got about 20 models. Are they all modelling for the different designs? Do you keep the same hairstyles on every model? Same hairstyle. That's, I think that's the tricky part because we've got to do the same hairstyle to complement every designer. So um, everyone has the same hair. And that actually pulls the show together as well because they get the same hair and makeup. So the girls don't, they're not as individual as they should be or could be. But in a group show, you've just you've got to give something. Okay, and what are you working on right now? What's this look? This is a, a rockabilly beach look. So this is part rockabilly, part surfer girl. She's a little, she's a cute girl, so she doesn't like a lot of stuff in her hair. Uh, she's a bit rumble tumble, but she likes it a bit, a bit kefueled at the same time. So we've pulled all the sides in and we've sewed that all back and keep that nice and tight. And it's about the juxtaposition between the wispy flyaway bits and the tight pulled up bits. The having the messy beachy mixed with like the soft roll at the front. Okay, I've got Kylie from Obis here. How did you come up with your spring collection? Um, Obis is all about travelling, so usually when I'm somewhere travelling an idea pops up, but you can't always tell. Um, this range is really inspired by the colours in the African landscape, so it's a real combination of really earthy tones like russet and ochre, but mixed in with really bold prints and florals. What's this one that you've got here? I kept saying floral because this is the um, hydrangea print. Yes. It's kind of a modern floral. It's got sort of crystals and spots around the edge, yeah. as well as these big hydrangea flowers that I drew. Yeah. Now, I'm lucky to be with Rosemary from Nevenka. Now, Rosemary, tell me about your look this spring. Where did you get your ideas from? What's the trends? Yeah, I drew inspiration mm -hmm. from a book called Gypset by um, Julia Chapman. Um, I'm a gypsy anyway. Yes. My mother was a bit of a gypsy, so I'm a bit of a free-spirited so mm. person. So I sort of drew inspiration from people who live like gypsies. And you've got two little um, numbers here. Do you want to just tell us what you've done with these? Oh, well, this is actually a very special cotton piece. Um, it actually is black with purple embroidered flowers. Actually, it's like a cross-stitch embroidery with little smocking. crystal and the smocking, which is, I think, very, very 70s and mm -hmm. very gypsy. Okay, I've grabbed Kate Gaskin, the stylist for tonight's show. So what was your preparation for this evening? Uh, well, quite extensive. We've sort of been working on it for the last uh, couple of months, me and um, a team of about two or three people, and then um, closer to the time, a team of thousands. <laughs> 